Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Going for a head and face shave, one video. I'm going to use the products that I used on my holiday, which were holiday. I had three nights away with the wife down at Bunker Bay at the Pullman Resort. It was absolutely superb. And I'm going to use the exact same products that I took with me. I did take my stuff with me to do a video, but I didn't really find the time. I just spent more time with the wife and enjoyed that rather than having a shave, which I enjoyed my shaves, but I did them rather quickly. So the soap, which I took with me, solely I didn't take anything else was the Swedish Witch, which took out my top soap base of 2019, and it still is. It's absolutely exceptional. The brush I took was a bit of a strange choice for a travel brush. I didn't really know what brush to take. I normally take a synthetic on holidays, but because it was only two or three hours away, I took my Shave Mac. This one has got a 26 mil, there we go unique silver tip knot and it is absolutely stunning and I got some incredible lathers from this down there so there's my soap I haven't soaked it I soaked it a couple of times down there I did it dry as well and to be honest the results dry and soaked were pretty much identical now you don't need a massive load on this I'm going to do my head shave first and that's it I think that, I don't know how long that was that was a very very quick load I'll wet the head and get at it. So I've got three days growth on my head. I didn't shave my head when I was down there. Just the face. And let me tell you, considering I was daily shaving using the Swedish Witch, my skin felt absolutely great every time. Didn't get too much irritation. I've got a red mark here. I don't quite know what it is. I I think it looks really red as well. But it was an absolutely beautiful holiday, really enjoyed it. A few days, no kids, five star resort, right on the ocean, with your own private sort of beach as well. It was it was outstanding. I was really impressed. I'm just gonna have a little bit of water to this. And straight away you can see that growing. Now I may have to go back to the soap again for the face shave, but we'll see. I think I will. I'll just go back anyway. It's quite a firm soap, so I have got no qualms with getting stuck into it. I think it will last quite a long time. I have been overloading it, mainly through an experience with the soap base, just trying to learn the best way to use it. As you can see, a very, very short load there, but I've got a good dense, dense ladder. And it's slick, it's really slick. It's almost as slick as this towel that keeps falling off the rail. So yeah, we did a bit of four wheel driving for the first time, me and the wife, in a car. We've got an X-Trail, a four wheel drive X-Trail. It wasn't a pleasurable experience, to say the least. My wife was stressed out. We got bogged twice in the sand, luckily we got helped out of it. I find four wheel drive enthusiasts are generally pretty good. We ended up some Aussie bloke helped us out of the sand and then he followed us, or we followed him all the way back out again. And then he blew our tyres up as well when we got to the other end. Absolutely top bloke. I know you'll never watch this, but if you ever watch this, Joel, thank you very much mate. We gave the guy a bit of a bung as well as a thank you and he told us that he was absolutely broke so it made a big difference to him so we were we were over the moon he helped us we helped him it was a win-win whether we ever do four-wheel driving again i doubt we'll ever do it in that car oh yes the razor is the leaf razor which it's pretty much now solely my head shaving razor. I don't think I'll really use anything else on my head. This one is in the mercury finish, which is very much like a gunmetal grey. I've got three vintage Gillette blades in here. The Gillette Super Stainless Despoiler. Well, three, I've got one and a half full blades because it takes three halves. 
let's see, I've got two, three nights. I've actually got, f no, three, three, three days growth, four days growth, but three nights growth. And I'm going, even with that amount of growth, directly against the grain with the fraser. You can see what I'm doing. No, no with the grain pass and then against the grain, just boom, straight into it. Now the silt is so protective and so slick that I've got no worries whatsoever about doing this. I'm just gonna dip my fingers add a little bit, I mean that slickness is incredible. Just catch that bit, just get my fingers again. Now of course, this video is going to be reasonably wrong, wrong, long and wrong. So obviously if you're just looking for the head, the face shave, you'll have to fast forward. I don't know what time that'll be because I'm not there yet. And you're watching this now, if you've watched it this far, I'm still not there. Now, one thing I did use for my travel, and I have used it pretty much exclusively now, is my nutsack dot bag. You can fit a lot in it, it's beautifully made, it's really sort of elegant and is build oh, this is such a good razor you know I'm really really impressed with it it did take me a while to get used to it my first head shave with it was pretty average I didn't get very close but certainly by no means a great shave but that's a BBS head shave now and sort of one and a half passes with one ladder and obviously the soap you choose or the cream that you choose determines whether you can do that or not and there's a lot of residual slickness which this has got just copious amounts of it and it sticks to your skin this residual slickness it's not like a Right, even though it's dry, what I am going to do, in fact I'll do it in my, I'll do it in my face shave, I'm doing the face shave now anyway. I'm going to be using the Calve Christopher Bradley razor, which aluminium, this is what I took on holiday with me, I did drop it, so it's no longer ever going to be sold or traded or whatever, I did drop it just on there. The old dent, I was absolutely gutted. To be fair, I had a bath with the wife, shaved her legs, she shaved my back and shoulders and everything, which I don't normally do, but... It was just one of those spur of the moments, and we were both pissed. We'd had a lot of gin in the bath, and it's my daughter off to one of her good mates' houses. It's her birthday today, so she's taking her a present. So the blade I'm going to be using, which I think I found my favourite blade in the calf, is that the Gillette Ruby Platinum Plus. There's Platinum Plus, and there's something else. I can't remember what it is. And I found both of them online. Gillette Ruby blades are very expensive. They're quite hard to find. There's nowhere in Australia stocks them. I have to get them shipped from overseas, but it's about 30. I think the cheapest I can find them is 33 Australian dollars shipped to the door, which is still pretty cheap, really. So I'm just going to use that just to touch up here. This is the only downside to this razor. Although I am getting better with it. There's hardly anything on that side. Brilliant. Right, let's put a bit of water into the sink. Now, I'm going to go with this. I'm not going to re-lather or reload. I just want to show you how good this soap is. And I did do a pretty quick load. I think it was probably 10 seconds maybe, something like that. Let's put a bit of water on the face. And here we go. I'm just going to scoot that on there. No, I think, I think the soap's gone. Yeah, it's gone. I'm showing you how good it is and it's not really that good from that load. I need it a bit longer, I think. Or just a re retouch up on the soap. 
There we go. The shape matte brush performs exceptionally well. Or at least this knot does. I don't know how much I would enjoy the really dense shape matte knots. This isn't a dense knot at all. It's just got wonderful tips and a great face feel. And I really, really like the shape that these knots are made into these bulbs. Now you do have to work this silk just a little bit longer, I find, than some other silks. Just to really beat the bubbles out of it. And trust me, whenever you're finished, you'll be amazed at how thick and dense it is. Now Sarah, who makes this soap, Sarah Lundstrom. Ooh, we're flicking it everywhere. It's hoping to open a new store, or a, a first store, online store, in January this month. But if not, it'll be within the first quarter of 2020. And I've got nothing but great things to say about a product. I don't react to the soap. The slickness is second to none. In fact, it's my favourite slickest soap. The lather is always dense. It's always creamy. And it just lasts. Right, so here we go with the carved Christopher Bradley razor. The brand new Ruby Blade. And it's absolutely incredible. Cold water shave, zero prep. Just driven back from Bunker Bay. I got in, unpacked, and here I am. And it's just something magical for me with this blade and this razor. It's like so sharp, but smooth. It's like buttery smooth. In fact, if I could describe it as anything, I would describe it as the feeling of a straight razor. It's that real sort of nice soft feel, even though you've obviously got hard steel on your skin. Right, now this is the bit that amazes me with this soap. Now this is a natural hair brush, generally it sort of chews through the lather and things. It obviously did through between the head shave and the face shave. But I've added a bit more soap, built the lather a bit more. And that is so thick. This is with this soap. The first pass with this soap, albeit is absolutely brilliant and it's a thick creamy lather. The lather's nowhere near as good as that second and third pass and I can't put my finger on why. It seems to dry out a little bit and it just really thickens up. It never dissipates. The protection, wow. I'm surprised in all honesty that it's not in more dense, and I don't see more of it. Another thing with this blade, against the grain, buttery smooth. And very comfortable. I 
thinking my whole time down at Margaret River, down at Dunsborough, Bunker Bay. I think I got like one weeper, maybe two, two weepers on my face and neck. You can see there how thick that is. How almost, how pasty really it is. This is obviously my third ladder now. I'm just going to splay it, add a little bit of water. Absolutely amazing soap. This one is rosemary spice. The scent doesn't smell like old spice. It's a more herbal sort of thing, but it's got a bit of old spice about it. But the scent's lovely. It's mild enough that it, it would never affect your post shave. smooth this razor blade so I'm definitely buying another hundred and I think in all honesty they've gone to my number one blade I really enjoyed the rubies when I first tried them and I always recommended them and I found an asset and that worked well in the razors I had at the time and it works really well in this razor offers so much protection this soap. So yeah the the rubies are just for me in this razor absolutely outstanding it really is a few little weepers here against the grain but that's against the grain I mean that's BBS there never get that Super, absolutely super. I took this soap because I knew I wanted some daily shaves that would be basically irritation free, as close to irritation free as I could get. This soap never reacts to my skin. It's organic, most of the produce in it. The scent's great, but that there, residual slickness, phenomenal. Residual slickness is a, until you try some of these type of soaps, sometimes you get a little bit lost in, in what it is. Yeah, it's slickness after you've removed the soap from your face. But this soap and several, there are others, others out there, quality soaps, they leave a film and it's stuck to your skin. So the blade's actually scraped everything off, but it's still there. And it, when you wet it, it just activates like an ice rink. But the thing that sets this soap apart for me over pretty much anything I've ever used, and I've used some good soap, really good soap places, I still to get stuck into Zingari Man, Talbot Shaving again, um, Declaration Grooming's Milk Steak, which was, all that stuff was sent very kindly. I've also got Holy Cow Sierra, 
sample that to try as well. Sent over from Jack at the virtual broom room. So I've got all those to try as well and get a feel for them. But this soap is just the much nuts. It is the best soap I've ever used. And it's for me it's quite it's in front by enough to say it's a clear leader. It's not like, oh, this one's close to this, it's close to that. This soap base for me is my clear number one. It really is that good. It's a vegetal base, there's no tallow in it. It's organic. Sarah that makes it is extremely, she's a, very much into nature and environmentally friendly, biodegradable now. Of course, that's a plastic tub. So her soap, when it comes out and becomes available, will come in 2.8 ounces which isn't massive, but it'll be cheaper to ship. You'll be able to get more of it in terms of scents and things. It will last long enough. It is a pretty firm soap. It'll all come packaged, I believe, in like paper wrap and things like that, all trying to be environmentally friendly. That's the sort of route that she wants to take with her business. And, and I'm all for that, big time for that. And it's the reason why I solely went to this for my head shaves now. I've got rid of all my cartridge razors or getting rid of them in the process. The leaf razor, an aluminium, stainless, titanium, DE razors. Cartridges, in, including the head blade, are pretty much left there now. They won't be used on the channel anymore. They are great products, they work exceptionally well, but until they come up with an idea making that without plastic, I'm not interested. That's just my take on it now. I, I moved into this way of shaving because I hated shaving. I now love shaving. And then I went back to cartridges and enjoyed it. I still enjoy it. But then, the way the world's going, it's just another thing that's it's just adding to the, the detriment of the earth. Or so they say. You know, sometimes you can only believe what you read. But that's why I'm trying to move away from all. Trying to, you know, tins for your soaps. No tins at all. Use reusing jars and stuff like that. I've got candle holders. I'm going to start using them for soaps. Just things like that. I'm going to try and start moving down that road. But either way, this stuff, in my opinion, is the best on earth. The Swedish Witch, made by Sarah Lundström out of Sweden. Rosemary spice, phenomenal scent for what it is. It's a herbal, herbaceous type scent, almost gourmand. But that soap base is absolutely spot on. It, for me personally, I use, I've got very hard water. It lathers like a dream. It's slick, post shave. It's the best I've ever had. It's better than everything I've used, better than Mitchell's wool fat. It is exceptional. She, she has really created a superstar product. Uh, sorry, the brush was my Shave Mac silver tip bulb, unique silver tip. This thing is so soft, but it's got amazing scrub. No scratch or scratch, just beautiful scrub. For the head shave, I used my leaf razor in Mercury. Now the coating isn't holding up too well on this one. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I might have to message Adam and just see what the story is with it. It's not great, and I've heard that from other people, but it doesn't affect the shave. It just It's just cosmetically, it's not great. And that's not an old razor. And I look after everything and then then I can assure you, other than this one which I dropped recently. Carved Christopher Bradley with the B plate, a brand new Gillette Ruby blade, which is now my go-to blade for the Carve Christopher Bradley razor. It's just silky, silky smooth. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a superstar head and face shave. BBS head, probably three quarters of the way BBS on my neck and chip face. Superb. And as you can see, other than that red mark at the start, which is still there, Superb. You guys stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.